before we get to the review of Batman, which we'll spend a good amount of time on, we are going to open with a reaction to a new film that we actually saw for the in the trailer last night in the yeah. theater. So we decided to go ahead and give it a give it a little reaction, our thoughts. Um, um, and uh, it's called Bullet Train. So it's starring Brad Pitt. It's got a lot of actors it, in it. It does. And we'll we'll look at the uh, the top actor list once we get through this, but let's go ahead and watch this trailer. Yeah. Give our reactions, talk about it a little bit, and then afterward we will get to our review of the Batman. I love the bucket hats. Yeah. Mm. I hate bucket hats so much. Not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Hey, this is nice. Okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A great call. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. Doesn't get simpler. <laughs> You stab me? Yeah. The way you like the way you run mine. Dude, I don't even know you. <laughs> There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Oh, dang. Where's the briefcase? Oh, it's such a... Cut away, cut away. Cut away. Oh, cut away. crap. Okay, cutting away, cutting away. I already cut away, so we're good. But, okay, so what do you guys think? You know I'm always down for, like, a martial arts kind of combat mm -hmm. movie. and this Martial arts comedy. Yeah, and this seems to have kind of that element of comedy. Yeah. Mixed Brad in Pitt. there. Yeah, not taking itself too seriously, having yeah. some fun. Good, uh, the director is a... Uh, he's a stunt coordinator and a, David. Yeah, David Leitch. Leitch. David. That sounds familiar. He's a stunt David. coordinator, stunt okay. stunt man, stunt mm -hmm. actor. Yeah. Uh, and you know, as we know from John Wick, that's kind of. And he did John Wick. Yeah, he, he did Deadpool too. Yeah. Um, he's done a handful of things, and it looks like his thing is. Fun, exciting comedy actions. Yeah. And wild. Like, he he's probably has a true love for the the action fighting martial arts or whatever. The mm -hmm. styles in which you film fight scenes um, and the choreography behind it. So, yeah. that's... He might be... I mean, for some of the most popular ones that do involve a lot of fighting and special f techniques and whatnot. I really... I, and the thing is, I you said you were telling me before the podcast that... Mm -hmm. Uh, combat in movies, the action is they're they're learning such you know much better techniques for to film. film action scenes. 
Let me just cut in here for a moment. Uh, I just want to tell you about our Patreon really quick. You can find the link in the description uh, or you can search WiseWorks on Patreon. We do all kinds of stuff there. We do early access to podcasts and the Wacky Wonderful Show. We have exclusive weekly pre-show before we record any episodes every single week. We do like a 20-minute pre-show, kind of mini podcast for patrons to enjoy. And we also sometimes occasionally have some watch party stuff that recently Wyatt and Josh has made for like watching through a film and you can hear their commentary in the background they crack jokes they give insight they have all kinds of fun and uh, we have that on patreon kind of exclusively at this point for patrons you also can get your name in the the credits of the podcast and all kinds of cool things all that to say it's a fun time over there I mean, there's all kinds of benefits if you enjoy WiseWorks entertainment content. So go check out the Patreon. Once again, links in the description. So let's go ahead and get back to the show. Yes, you know, absolutely. And they're really, uh, even going back to some of the old action movies, some of the old like uh, uh, Jackie Chan and Jet Li type stuff mm-hmm. where they really just pan mm-hmm. out the camera mm-hmm. and let the, the guys do their thing. It's kind of like filming football. They pan out, yeah, and they just go back and forth. They just pan back and forth, um, and but that's not that's once we saw really um, Jason Bourne come on the scene. Mm. There was a hot minute for about over a decade of people being like, fight scenes need to be frantic, feel handheld, yeah, and um, and they're they're moving away from that. They're finding new interesting ways to show it. And I think the start of it, if I'm being honest, the start of this new filming fight scene did start with John Wick a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, the director is a stunt coordinator, mm-hmm. a guy who'd worked with, you know, uh, Keanu Reeves since The Matrix. Yeah. And these guys really love getting good action on mm-hmm. on film. Yeah, we're not trying to hide anything. They're really trying to show yeah. off things. Um and I think I okay, so I does Brad Pitt we know that you can just train mm-hmm. with professionals and become a pretty good fighter especially if it's just perfecting like what's going to be shown on screen. Yeah. But I wouldn't peg Brad Pitt for like this kind of role necessarily especially mm-hmm. at this point. Like Keanu Reeves, yeah. yes, he's always been a very physical actor. More yeah. so, he's he's good at, at drama, but he's been more good at action um, and it, portraying yeah, action loves, on screen. He loves doing the martial arts on screen. Yeah, so Brad Pitt has always been good in kind of dramatic, dramatic, and yeah. some action, but you know, good dramas. He's really fifty eight. Yeah, and yeah. so seeing, I just looked it, looked it up because I was curious. Yeah, so seeing seeing him in a role like this, he's they're bringing a lot of him into yeah. into the film, obviously. Yet he's doing like this new thing we haven't seen, which is like this really fast action kind of fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, so so what are your thoughts? Do you think it's going to be uh, kind of revolutionary, or you think it's going to feel different, new, or do you think it might just be more of a slightly more funny John Wick kind of film? on a train <laughs> it, I think it yeah I don't have some of those elements I think like a like a comedy uh, action samurai movie I like the I like the idea of it being on a train mm-hmm. because that really gives a lot of options for really tight close quarters yeah. combat you know really kind of old boy style uh, fight scenes as they move throughout the train yeah or you know like that scene in shang chi where they're fighting on the yes. bus yeah stuff like that is really fun for combat mm-hmm. i i and have one thing film. though mm. that i think it would make this movie like perfect you know i'm gonna pitch to you guys what do you All guys right, think pitch it so bullet train they're on a train mm-hmm. they're on the bullet train we throw a werewolf in there <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. No, not at all. Absolutely. The, the preface seems simple for this film. Yeah. Um, throwing a werewolf would be unnecessary. Uh, from what I got, tell me tell me if you guys picked up anything else. It's he is a professional thief. He works yeah, for yeah, this organization. He is a is professional something. Yeah. And he's stealing a case of yeah. something. 
and but a lot he, of other people are there to do the same thing. But clearly, he's like he's trying to do better. He's trying to live his life better, yeah. and he doesn't really want to do this, but he's doing it for some reason. Yes, uh, and he's like, all right, this is just going to be a simple job. Grab the briefcase, get on the train, go home. Mm-hmm. You know, deliver the package, whatever. But everybody else is after the briefcase. Yeah, that's funny. including um, Joey King's character, which I haven't. The last thing I saw her in was. That, that Hulu show with her she, being bald. Was she like it was her mom? What do they call it? Where a kid grows up and is taking drugs. There's been a couple stories about this. It's basically a mom telling her telling their kid they're sick in mm-hmm. order to get benefits or drugs or something. Oh yeah, they're like gaslighting. Yeah, them. they're gaslighting them, and then they become of age and they realize I'm not sick. Actually, when I don't take my medicine, I feel good. Yeah. Um. She was in a film on a show a series on Hulu. That's the last thing I saw with her in it. Yeah, and it was wild. But she, even her, who's wearing like pink, the little bob bang cut. Even her with a gun, apparently after this case as well. It seems. Yeah, you know. What's and, in the case? <laughs> I mean, this uh, this gentleman. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna butcher his first name. Give it a go, Hiro, Hiroyuki yeah. Sanada. Okay, yeah. Uh, Tons of yeah, what was like last... Japanese movies. I mean, he was in, he was in Rush Hour Three. He was in um, Samurai. Uh, yeah, The Last Samurai. He's in uh, uh, the the Logan movie where he goes to Japan. Uh, what's the, the Wolverine? Mm-hmm. What's the mm-hmm. game movie that just came out not too long ago? The Japanese game movie. Game. Movie. Sit up to the, the mic, the, Josh. The, you're too far away. That was on HBO. Um, Squid Game. No. No, it wasn't a show. It was yeah, a movie. My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, you watched it because because you were interested in it, and I kind of watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. It was it was a couple months ago, but um, a Japanese um, game um, movie. Um, is it a game show or is it a narrative piece? What are you talking about? I can't. I, I can't remember what it. Just keep talking. Yeah. Okay. Did you see? Was did you see Sandra Bullock in that trailer? I didn't see no, it. No, she wasn't in that movie. Yeah. She might have been in it for a moment, but I did not see her yet. She's one of the top. I'm really- She's uh, playing Maria Beetle. I'm really looking forward to Aaron Taylor Johnson. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen- I Maybe I haven't been watching the right movie. I don't remember what the last movie I saw him in was. Godzilla? Was it the first Godzilla? It might movie? be the, the, first Godzilla. the first Godzilla. Why haven't we seen anything with him in it? He's, He's a great got actor. Such a recognizable face. He's got those piercing eyes. Yeah, I bet you ladies think he's really attractive. Yeah, he's, and and I I kind of like the vibe of his character in this movie. Oh yeah, uh-huh. yeah. No, he he's he's got. Uh, I don't know. Is he? I I guess he might or might not be actually British. Um, but he he was really good in the first Godzilla. I th- he looks like he's going to be a, play a good role here. Um, yeah, he's British. Oh, it was it, it was like Age of Ultron. He was he's Quicksilver. Oh yeah, yeah, he's Quicksilver. Yeah, um, well, he was in Tenet as well. Mm. Interesting. I can't find this movie. I, I, <laughs> We've I don't seen know a what handful of stuff with this fella. Yeah, um, but this guy down here, he was playing Lemon. <laughs> Brian, Brian Tyree, Tyree Henry. Henry. Yeah. yeah. He looks like he's going to be a funny character. He's on the come up. He is. As far as like acting. Mm-hmm. He's, he's been in a lot of stuff. He was in Eternals. Uh, what Was he in um, the most recent Godzilla movie? Am I thinking of he the right might. person? Are you talking about Godzilla versus Kong? Yeah. I don't know, actually. Like, it's I don't know. Long to watch that. I don't yeah, it's remember. been a minute. They were like, you know, uh, uh, Eleven and her friend, and they meet up with the dude at the facility. Was that him? It might be. Yeah, I think so. I think, that was I him. think so. The one that they were with, like when the they crazy said, we're just podcast gonna, guy. What was it like? We're gonna throw like yeah, on this yeah, like and, yeah. I think he might be the yeah, crazy podcast guy. guy. He's been in a bunch of stuff recently, and I think you he's know, funny. He's funny. He's a good actor. He is a good actor. <laughs> I think is I'm looking forward to watching this, even if it's I. The thing is, like I, I'm not. I lean towards like drama, really mm-hmm. artistic, cinematic, and comedy. Um, so this is comedy. I don't like always go out of my way to watch action for the sake of action. Yeah, like I've never been a fan of Transformers stuff of that nature. Right? 
So I'm not in action for the sake of action. However, I really enjoyed John Wick. Yeah. Even though that was action for the well, sake I of action. Well, I think there's I think there's action and then there's like martial arts action. Yeah. And I think this one kind of fits in that martial arts action. They even had like the katanas and stuff yeah. that I don't even I don't know what that whole side narrative is going to be about, but they're in a location of where obviously this briefcase is important. Kind of like a, be... it's kind of tropey. It's like yeah. go find the item in a it's briefcase that uh you don't know what it is, but you're fighting for it and other mm. people are trying to also get it, you know? I'm uh I think it'll be cool. I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll be cool. It'll be fun if if it's it's gonna be fun. I know it's yeah. gonna be fun. Also, is the it bucket hat. Is it exclusive hat. somewhere? Huh? Ooh. Is it an exclusive? I, it, it I don't didn't know. say. I think it's. it's uh, I think it's a Sony. Yeah, it's Sony. So they probably might. Theaters. It's probably yeah, gonna okay. be theaters. Yeah, because Sony usually <laughs> drops on theaters, and who knows where they put stuff after that. The bucket hat. Um, mm. I just wanted to do a quick side side thing. Mm. So Tom Segura recently met Brad Pitt. Uh-huh. Okay. So recently, yeah. after the production of this, he got his hair, uh, maybe, no, he he doesn't have a short haircut. He still has a long haircut. But he put it, pictures up on Instagram, Tom Segura did for behind the scenes when he's talking to him. And then he talked about it on the podcast, which was fun. However, he's wearing a bucket hat. Mm-hmm. I think Brad Pitt is now doing the bucket I hat. Think Brad yeah. likes the bucket hat. <laughs> I, th- I like it. Is I'm there, here for wait, it. Is there a new bucket hat meta? No, no if, I, if we're gonna it, say this, old, hold on. No, like, is there is there new meta? Like the bucket hat's classic; it's old. But is there like something new that we that that's going on that we don't know about? I don't know. No, but, but I, the I'm first, not here for it. I had okay. Listen, I hadn't seen the bucket hat in years. Yeah, you know how Twenty One Pilots correlate certain outfits or costumes mm. to communicate a message mm-hmm. specific to certain songs. In the album Trench, don't believe the hype. Um, they did the music video where they are wearing plaid and bucket hats. So the song Don't Believe the Hype is now associated with this bucket hat. So like during shows, Josh will put on a bucket hat for yeah. at, on the drums while they're performing that song. So oh, it's the hype thing. They, it's been a while and the hype came, that song came, the music video came out a handful of years ago. Clifford, the guy I talked to on the podcast, he the was The Big in, Red Dog? Uh, no, oh. the pop song professor. Yeah, he um, was in that music video. Oh, cool! As b- somebody in the crowd, very cool. Yeah, but the bucket hat's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> even Brad's wearing it. It's weird. So crazy. No, next I week can. on the podcast, we will all be wearing bucket. Not hats. me. You guys can. That's fine. I'm not. <laughs> I might try to find a really stylish one in Florida. A really fun bucket stylish hat. Stylish one. The only stylish one is the one mm. that. It has Jigglypuff all over it. That's the coolest, bucket, <laughs> that's the coolest bucket hat. No, I kind of want seen. one like him. It's just like a lighter color. All right. Just plain. I think it looks cool, man. Yeah. What have you I'm say? down. I gotta, I'm into I the look. I got to figure out the, the meta of the bucket hat because why would somebody wear such an unattractive hat? <laughs> yeah. It's not that unattractive. You put a bucket hat on somebody that's stunning, it actually looks in really cool. In every movie, in every movie and show, they put a bucket hat on the nerd. And they put like a little vest and glasses on him to really let you know this guy's a nerd. Yeah, because <laughs> he wears a bucket hat. Yeah, but that's the that's like the narrative now. It's like the nerd thing is cool. Hey, this is a clip from the Wise Works podcast, and if you enjoyed it, go and check out the entire podcast. We do podcasts every week, both the Midnight Special and the main podcast. You can check us out on YouTube and Spotify. Be sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.